Good morning. Come on in. It's 10 o'clock. No, it's not. We're early to the party. Four minutes to. Come on in. It's Friday and the sun is shining in the southeast of England. Beautiful blue skies. What about where you are? Hmm? Nice spring day. Nice and fresh. The cats are out. They're certainly earning their names. We called them Vikings for a good reason. They are little warriors. But there you are. It's nature. So uh, I won't go into that. Suffice it to say, we're not feeding the birds in the garden at the moment. <laughs> I'd be like luring them into a, to a trap. So we're not doing that. But it's okay because it's the springtime and of course the birds can find food now. So it's all right. Good morning. Come on in. Great to have your company. I'm sure that as the months roll into, into the summer now and the lockdown lifts and we're all allowed to move around more freely again, I'm, I'm sure that our little Shack Shack group will diminish in size. But that's okay too, isn't it? That's okay too. Have you got your tea? Have you got your loo roll? <laughs> we're, um, we're finishing up the butterflies today, aren't we? Yes, we are. It's good to have your company. It's good to have your company. This is a nice habit to have, isn't it? Eh? Yes, it is. And we're learning loads along the way. And I thought today I'd just show you a couple of little tricks and tips, hang out with you for an hour. And then, um, then Paul's coming over. And then at three o'clock, we've got the, um, the moment of clarity. So we've got to change all the set. Yeah, I'll put all the birthday cards in a nice box so that I can uh, I can store them safely, which is what we do. And uh, many thanks again. And then um, and then it's on to the masks. Yeah, I'm looking forward to those demos. I I actually um, yeah, they're so good to use these masks. So three o'clock, Facebook Live, back here. And we'll get to grips. Lots and lots and lots of you have bought them, like hundreds. And therefore, apparently there are only about eight in the building that haven't left yet, which must have been, the order must have been placed yesterday. So as promised, I, I, I was looking at it yesterday evening and I thought, well, what we could do if it's up, if it's, if you're up for this, if you see, they've all left the building bar eight, but that doesn't mean that you've all got them. Right. Well, that's out of our control, that little bit that the raw mail takes over. So we're going to go for three o'clock this afternoon, just as we always uh, do in a moment of clarity. Right. And then I'll show you because because it's a craft along, really, isn't it? Many of you craft along. But then what I thought I'd do is we could have another craft along. And I thought about the time and that. And I thought next week on Wednesday, which will be the 24th, how about we hang out in the evening together? So after tea, yeah, watch the news, have your tea, have your supper, and then at six o'clock in the seven o'clock in the evening, we'll do we'll we'll have another session and I'll ramp it up a little bit. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you these details again later, just in case you're late to the party and you didn't catch this bit. Um, <laughs> which is a bit redundant because if you well, you might be watching it on catch up. Anyway, so uh, so that's what we'll do next Wednesday. We'll have a Facebook live again and we'll revisit those um, those lovely reflection masks, the landscape masks, so that one, those of you have got them, we can have another go, do something a little bit more challenging, take it to the next level together. And um, and those of you who haven't got them yet, you can join in next Wednesday at seven o'clock in the evening. How does that sound like a plan? Does that sound like a plan? Good. Be interesting to see if anybody turns up at seven o'clock in the evening. And it's 10 o'clock. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And these glasses are absolutely filthy. <laughs> I can see the smears. <laughs> I can see the smears. Not help. Doesn't help, does it? Hey. Right. 
the Shack Shack. The 23rd, next week, is Gracie's birthday, apart from anything else. But it's also, I think they're calling it Reflection Day, ironically. Um, and we're going to reflect on the past year because that was officially when, when, when the English went into lockdown. Was it England or the whole of the UK? The whole world seemed to shut down about then. And we started the Shack Shack, um, was it the, 30th, the 30th of, I think the 30th is our birthday. So we'll have to celebrate that as well. We've got something lined up to celebrate the Shack Shack as well. We've got to look on the bright side. Always look on the bright side of life. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Yeah? Good, good. And now I've put that little song in your ear. We can hum that throughout the hour. <laughs> Paul's in the building with you. If you're looking for anything, if he can help you, our friend Paul is there to help you. And it looks like we've got a few friends. So let's get started. Come on. It's butterfly, butterfly day. We've had a good, we've had a good gentle travel, haven't we? It's, it's been lovely. It's been really soft and gentle. And we, we started, when you think about it, what's interesting, right, is that we started with her, didn't we? That's where we started this, with the postcard. We're going to end with her as well, right? We've gone full cycle because we went from her, then we went to the hearts, do you remember? Then we tried the, the we did loads of watercolour stuff, didn't we? Oh, then I went berserk, look, with the gold pen. <laughs> then we did our little, look, the gold, the doodles, didn't we? See, remember, all this arty stuff. Yeah, it was cool, 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 cool. And, and then we, we went from that and then we moved on to butterflies, didn't we? Which is what we're on today. We're finishing up these butterflies. Nice, eh? So we've got a couple of different... Do you remember, just let's recap, just so that it's always a good idea to just glance back. We, we, uh, we drew half a butterfly on a piece of tracing paper. Then, so we got, a perfect, we got perfect symmetry, didn't we? Then we drew our, uh, our patterns onto the butterfly. And again, you see, because we're using a pencil, when you, when you transfer it then, that was how we got the the patterns down, didn't we, on the on the stencil card. Do you remember? That's what we're using this afternoon as well. Let me just get my glasses on. Yeah, so then we put our veins in, didn't we? You see? Look, like that. And we used the watercolour pencils to get this lovely, gentle, sort of real wash. Yeah. Because, you know, well, according to David Attenborough, but butterflies are transparent and it's only the, it's only the, um, the proteins, I think it's called chitin, I looked this up, I did a bit of research on this, I think, what is it? Wings are transparent, made of a protein, thousands of scales, and they're made of a protein called chitin, C-H-I-T-I-N. So in other words, they're transparent, but apparently the colour comes from when the light hits them. Interesting. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, and we also mentioned, didn't we, that if you wanted to put a butterfly on its side, then you would just simply change the body direction. See, like this. See, instead of doing a, a body with antennae like that, you'd make the body more like a kidney, like that, you see? And then maybe put the antenna that way. So then that now looks like the side of the butterfly. And then, of course, there's the, the leaf at the back. You get it? So loads of tricks, really. And we've still got that third butterfly that we haven't used. So I thought that was a good idea to do half a butterfly. I have my moments. Right, now, let's have a look. And so what we're going to do today, we, on Wednesday, we, we got this far, didn't we? We put the blue wash in and we're using, we're using these brushes, aren't we? The watercolour brushes. So I've got mine all set to go, right? Different sizes. That one's the one that I'm going to use a lot today. It's the grey. Oh, you can see it's got a grey, grey head. But you can see, these are fabulous, you know. 
and you get long ones and you get small ones. Um, that's of no interest at all. What is of interest is the nibs and the price. Good price. So what, let's have a look. What we're going to do today, just so that you can gather your bits and pieces, hopefully you've got your butterflies. You're going to get a mix mat. Have you got one of them or something that's got a bit of purchase? Because then we're going to use our watercolour pencils. Let me put these to one side. You don't, we don't use much really in the Shack Shack, do we? You know, we just need some colouring pencils. I mean, that was the whole idea, wasn't it, when we went into lockdown? We said, right, let's all hang out together and all you need is a pen, a paper and a piece of... A uh, piece of paper and a pencil and really, you know, we haven't deviated that much from there we, We've got some colouring pencils going now and I use bits and pieces, but to be honest You can still do this with a pencil and a piece of paper Never feel excluded just because you haven't got the gear mm -mm -mm. Right, so we're using these colouring pencils now what we've got here is these um, Pergoliners and that that's what we're going to use here Pergolines, the aquarelle ones, watercolour. So we've got the B pencils. See, the white says B on it. Funny enough, that's the black one I've got. There's a reason for that as well. Because I thought, yeah, well, why fight with the paintbrush if you've got a pencil in your hand? Right, so we've got B2, and then we're using the A pencils. These are the water soluble ones. See, aqua. So they're good, you know, really. There's always going to be better and there's always going to be more expensive, but these are good. Pound for pound, pencil for pencil, these are good gear. Right, and they work lovely on parchment too. So, what we'll do, we'll use our, our mat, our mix mat, because it's got a bit of purchase on it, you see. Let's start with a clean one. I'm just going to wipe this clean so that we are all starting with the same thing there you go so that's it water soluble so it comes off if i had b pencil on there it wouldn't it wouldn't come off let's use a cleaner piece of paper see i did write on here there you go because I'm, I'm using the same card um to just test my color before i go to my artwork see so we need that as well and then the other thing i was going to show you because here's one that I've already worked on. Let's get in close so you can see it better. Let's just come in a bit closer on that one. So you can see on this side here, I've gone in with a pencil as well. Can you see that? And that's what we're going to do today is add that depth. So you can see the difference really between the left and the right wing. The one at the bottom, the pink one, I haven't added any shade yet, any depth, any grayscale. But the top one, you can see that I've concentrated more on that one. Yeah, you see it's darker, can't you? And I was trying to bring out those little white markings around the edge. So I've got a little trick for that as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see, if you go very, very closely, let me come in really tight. Can you see the little veins that are just tiny, like little tiny delicate veins? Yeah? Not finished yet. I could, I could stipple and fiddle and you, you, you could do this for, for, for hours, you know, hours. And I think that is the whole purpose of this, you know. This morning I was preparing, because I'm the bus driver, see, so I have to figure out where we're going. It's been a really busy week with TV yesterday. Did you see the ooh la la knickers and bra yesterday? That went well, that was funny. Um, I enjoyed it, you know. Um, so, but it's been a busy week running around, so I've had to, I've been scooting ahead of the Shack Shack just before you you all turn up, see? So, so uh, it's not a bad thing because it means that I've got it fresh in my mind and it's all laid out, see? But um, so so the that's why I've only done half a butterfly. <laughs> but what I wanted to say was that while I was doing this this morning, I went from running around like a, the proverbial B-A-F um, to, to just really chilled, you know, really chilled. It does do what it says on the tin. Colouring does what it says on the tin. It calms you down because you're so focused. I was so focused on the end of my pencil that I, 
I was, it, everything else just disappeared. Oh, I wouldn't say worries. I haven't got any worries. My God, I haven't got any worries. I listened to the news at six o'clock this morning for the first time in about a week. And now I know why I didn't listen to it for a week, you know. Now it's China and you think, wow, we haven't got any worries, have we? You know, I haven't seen my kids for a long time because they're in New York and they're in San Francisco and because of lockdown and what have you. But that's got nothing to, that's not a problem. It's just an inconvenience. We've got FaceTime, they're healthy, they're safe. Then they're not locked up. We haven't been separated, you know. I mean, my God, what is going on in the world, you know? And so I come up here and I'm carrying all that baggage. It's not my baggage, but I'm thinking, oh, dear God, what is wrong with humanity, you know? And then you realise there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. But if you worry, I think, I, I think that if you, if you worry and you, you panic about these things and you, it sucks you in and then you become a part of that terrible energy, you know. And so you have to be uplifting. You have to go the other way. You have to look at the sun and the, you, you, you have to bring positive, positive energy, literally energy to the party, you know. Otherwise, we'll all go down the toilet. And therefore, colouring in butterflies clears the mind. It's all about headspace. It's all about good headspace. Came up with a washing machine head and now I've got a good head. Good head. It's all right. So let's have a look at these butterflies. Are you ready to go? Let's have a look. So the first thing I wanted to say is, have you got a rubber or an eraser, right? Can you hear me all right? Paul? Uh, let me just check. Yeah, sound is clear. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Right. Rubber. So what I wanted to show you was when you did the transfer, see the transfer? Did you notice that sometimes it was a little bit dark? A little bit dark. If you wanted to, you could just not remove completely, but certainly lighten. Now's the time. See how you can just take out. If it's a little bit too dark, it looks a bit cartoony. You've got the idea now. See, that there is really dark. Let's come in a bit closer, shall we? So you've got your guidelines. You know where you're going to put your colour. See, but now you can just, you can take out a little bit of that depth. Because these are supposed to be gossamer wings, remember? So you just take out a little bit of that colour. You still see, you still got your guides. I was been, I've been working on that corner a little bit. I was trying something out. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, I suppose, as well, isn't it? What we're doing here... Sorry, butterfly. Um, what we're doing here is is just learning and, and doodling and relaxing and figuring out a few little tricks. So I've got my... Have you got your, your colour in? I've taken my... I've taken my... The darker lines out. I'm, I'm working on this one here. See that one there? I'm working on all of them. I think that's the other thing is because... Look, this is too dark. There you go. Um, because often this has to dry before you can put the next layer of colour on, right? It's a good idea to have a few on the go, really, isn't it? You could have a few cards on the go. There you go. Just get rid of a little bit of the depth. Nice. That's it. Gentle. Gentle. All gentle. Right, so we've got that, we've got that. I've, I've got several on the go here. So let me decide. Let's go with this blue one to start with. Let's start with this one. So we've got our pencils and I'm going to go with, because I'm working on the pink one as well. Let's stick that there. So we're going to take our, our mix mat and we'll add uh, some blue, just scribble a bit of blue onto the mix mat. You know why we're doing this, don't you? So that we protect our pigment. So put a bit of blue down. This is the aqua pencil, A for aqua, water. And then we'll take, I think we'll take a bit of the pink and we'll put the pink over here. Here we go, look, pink's over here. Right, that'll do. And then I'm gonna put a bit of black, make sure it's the A pencil, because I've got the B pencil floating around here as well. So I'll put a bit of black in the middle. 
right so you see with these three colors i've got so many different combinations i've got lovely gray scale um, this way that, that gives you a lovely lilac -y gray I've got a lovely pinky gray going this way I've got um, beautiful purples if I blend these this way so you've got so many different options and they but we we went primarily we went in with the blue didn't we just to to make it really lovely and blue to start with so now what we want to do is we'll take our I've got one that's got no, just nothing it's just gray Right, so I'm going to squeeze a bit of water there, just so I've got a bit of water. I've taken all the lids off, so I know where I'm going. I've got a pink one, so I'll add a bit of water in the middle. There you go. And I'll add a bit of water here as well. So I've got pink here, right, just in case I decide I want to go pink. Right, there you go. We'll add that there. Pink wash. Blue wash. See, this is like your palette. You see? It's just a palette, isn't it? Pink wash, blue wash, and then I've got the black there. Now let me, I'm going to keep that one clean. Let me use this one just to get the black going. There you go. Let's just get a bit of black going along there like that. Right, so we've got that. Where's that toilet roll, that big roll that I was using? I had that. Where's that? Where's my favourite thing? Oh, I might have... I might have moved it yesterday when I was doing the TV. Oh, moved everything, everything yesterday when I was doing the TV. That's all right, I'll use this. This will do. That'll do. I wonder where that moves, that, that roll's gone. I'll find it, don't you worry. Right, let me come out, because I can't, I can't show you what I'm doing. And that's it. So I've got my colours and I've got my, so I want to take a, just a, a clear one. See, can you see this all right? Just a little bit of clear water, very, very lightly. And I'm just going to make the lightest blue wash. I don't want any other colour. Yeah, see nice white lights like this. What I'm doing is I'm just putting down some colour before I add another, another colour to it. Right, so... I need to wet it a little bit before I do that. So down we go now. See, and it's got just a, just really, it's what, remember I call it a glaze. So we just take that lightest blue and we're just going to come in on these. There you go. It's just a bit of a stain, really. Just put those colours in there. And then I'm going to pick up a bit of that blue and just drop it down in that, this area here again. Here we go. So you add a little bit of a glaze just to depth, just to add a bit of depth, right? But it's almost transparent, water, clear. Clear is best, right? Just to get the, the, the surface of the card receptive to take in any, any other colour. Right, then we'll take a bit of the blue and then we'll just bring in a little bit of that blue into that the, where the body area is. Now, we added a little bit of the glaze or the water see so you go into the water then let's just concentrate on these these triangle bits here right these 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 markings here so put the water down so I know now that it's more receptive to to it's it, the, the color will move better see and then I can bring in the blue and it sits in that area where I've just wet it it the water that I put down the glaze that I put down before just holds it in place for you see so you just go in like that, just add a little bit of depth. And if you think it's a bit blotchy, right? I mean, I don't mind blotchy, but if you think it's a bit blotchy, then get your clean water, clean your brush, and then just w go along the line that you want to break down and it will work perfectly. There you are, see? So you can see it's darker than that side. Obviously it will, dark, it will dry lighter and you can blot it as well. Right, let's go again, this side this time. So I've got my tissue. Let's just get a little bit more depth in these bits. There you go, look, like this. So you get a bit of colour in there, a bit of colour in there. We need to get some depth in here. Right, just a little bit of blue. We're cool with this? There we are. 
bit of blue. Now when we've done this, we're going to add a bit of grey. That'll make a difference. Can I make a suggestion that you, you, I know this sounds sarcastic, it's not. If I say to you, watch what you're doing or look at what you're doing, I don't mean that in a sarcastic way at all. Sarcasm is not my thing. But what I'm saying is that look at what you're doing. So in other words, just check it, have a look and say, do I want to add colour there? Do I want to make like a, a, a mark there? Do I want to, look, see what I'm doing here? Go up on your haunches and s let's say you want to make a, a, a light a light circle there. You just want to make a, a circle there, let's just say. So let's not keep adding more colour to that. Let's make a ring around it. See, so you make a little ring. Right? You can't see it very well at the moment, but let's just take that ring like that. Right, we've added a little bit of depth along there as well. Okay, and then let's take a whisper of the, the grey. See, you just run it along that grey, like that. Now let's see what happens if we add a bit of grey along that edge. That's it, come down into that drop. Come into that drop. Let's add a bit of depth now. Here we go. And because we've got that watery glaze, the grey will move really seamlessly. You won't even notice what you're doing. It, it just, it's got to be quite watery though. You can always add it, you know, it's easy to add it. There you go, look. When you've got a bit of grey in, see, so you started the colour with a little bit of blue just to get that the depth going and now what we're doing is because we know that that the, the the card is more receptive now to being stained by more color by more so now we can go in say for example here and see it just look like that and if i think it's got a stripe on it i'll get some clear and i'll just run down the side of that see this stencil card it's not watercolour paper, but it doesn't have to do the job nicely. Let's look at this particular... What I would suggest is that we do both wings, both areas of both wings at the same time, so you remember what you did and how much... You know what I mean? So now I'm just putting down that little transparent glaze. There you go. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a bit, of, tiny bit of blue. Let's add a bit of blue first. Right, here we go. A bit more water, basically, stained water. And now I'm going in with that grey. Now, let's see. In we go. Like that, along that edge. See, and this little pen, this brush pen, it's got such a fine line. There you go. In we go. Nice, eh? See how it bleeds beautifully? Let's come up close so you can see it. And you'll see what I'm up to. See how it's starting to, it just blends in lovely. Yeah? So what I thought was we could just do a little bit of that and we're gonna, we're gonna put some grey in these areas here. So let's start on the inside. Right, so it's a sequence. This is already quite receptive to colour I should think. I think this is already looking quite wet. Let's have a look. Let's try it with a bit of grey. Just go easy. I'm quite ginger when I do this because I want it to be really delicate so I don't want to flood it, you see. And I'm using the real tip. It's a really, really delicate um, tip on this one. It's the smallest one, isn't it, of the pens. So let's go in here. Let's just stay in the middle a bit. Let's just flick out those veins like that. Just come along those lines with the grey. Very watery. Right, turn it round. Let's work on that side now. There we go, go in there. And then just bring that grey along those veins. Delicately. That'll do. Have you got a hairdryer handy or something like that? Just in case we need to speed dry. Mind you, we shouldn't. 
because what we can do is we can work on the pink one while we're working while we're waiting can't we so now what we're going to do is cut in on those other v's on those markings there like that so you come real down like with a little bit of gray see that's gray's a bit weak gray that's better i'm just i'm i'm aware that i don't want it to be too too dark see there you go so you bring in that depth see but you don't want to lose the white either it's going to be lovely when it's done see now we do a bit of gray i could get lost in this there we are are you spending a lot of time alone i spend a lot of time alone nowadays I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Some days better than others. I was talking, who was I talking to? And they said, oh, I quite like my own company. Oh, it was Jim. Yeah. Yeah. There. That's a bit of depth. There. Nice. See the grey just brings in that colour so beautifully. Is that working? It is, isn't it? Look at that. See? So what you're doing is you're bringing in this area here. See? It's creating depth. Shadow. Bit of an overlap there. So. Right, and then we'll do this one, because we haven't done that one yet. So again, make sure it's got a bit of a glaze before you start, otherwise it will get, won't move. Yep. Let's see what we've got. That's it. Nice. Keep your eye on the other wing so that one's not a lot darker than the other one. And you just bring it in. Nice, eh? So this is going to be the last day that we do butterflies, I think. And then next week I've got something else in store. I've got a nice idea. I think you'll love it. Something different. Something bold and brassy and beautiful. <laughs> there we go. You need your passport. So we're going to go on a little trip. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Monday. We'll go somewhere nice. Okay. Because we can't really go yet, can we, f f properly? So let's just have a little lovely trip, shall we? There. Cool. Got it? Cool. I, can't, I can't recommend these water brushes highly enough. They just are so, so lovely to use. Got our, we're getting our stain in, aren't we? So don't worry if it's... Yeah, see the depth in there? I want to get it darker in there. Just add a little bit in there. Nice. Yeah, really nice, actually. Sorry I've gone quiet. I'm really chilled. I'm really like right in the zone here. Let's do something around the outside. It looks a bit insipid around the outside, doesn't it? Come on then, let's get some grey going around the outside. Yeah, because on this one, I, I did it black, look. That's why it looks a bit more... Yeah, this one's more bluey. This one I added a bit more pink into it, see? Let's do the black around the edge. Now, here's the thing. Do we want to add uh, rings? Now, I wonder if I... I think I'd probably do this more with a pencil before I do anything else. Let's just have an experiment. If I just make little marks like that, like little portholes there, let's just see. There's one there. I did that, didn't I? Let's just see if I can... If I put the portholes in whether that will help stay away, eh? What do you think? It's supposed to be symmetrical, Grey. 
Oh well, that'll do. Just about. So, so I've done my portholes. I've just made really light pencil marks. Let's have a look. See the markings up the side? I just want to see if I can avoid them when I'm putting the grayscale in. So this time we can afford to go in a little bit darker, I think. I'm going to use the smallest brush though. Let's have a look. Let's get in a bit more over this edge. It's a bit, a bit more concentrated, eh? See what, yeah, oh my goodness. That's very concentrated. Not that dark grey. Mm. Right, I'm going to put a light grey wash in and then go in dark. Right, so now let's have a look and we're going to try and get that colour in and we're going to avoid our... There you go, let's have a go. Just come round like that. I'm going to come round the edge. Leave your little eyes, your markings. Round you come. Go round like that. Don't worry if it's a bit ropey. You can tidy it up afterwards. This is going to be lovely. Right, here we go. Yeah. Got another one there. Okay. Let's come in from the top. Bit of grey first, and we can always juice it up afterwards. There we are. Nice. Oh, I am quiet today. Sorry about this. I, I'm right zen. That's what it is. <laughs> so, so that's what we're going. What we're doing. We're rubbing out harsh lines with the pencils, didn't we? We erase the harsh lines and then once we've done that, then we reintroduce the definition, but gently with water. See? Look, doesn't that look pretty now? See? And then round the outside, if you want it to be a bit more defined, then come up like this. Look, let's see if we can see it from this side. Come up perpendicular and then what you're going to do is just bring that there you go, and you can really bring in a good line. Ironic really, first you rub it out and then you reintroduce it. The thing is though, this is a completely different line to a, a harsh pencil line, isn't it? This is really soft. There we are. And just bring it in. Very pretty. Yeah. It's going to be lovely. Have you enjoyed doing the butterflies? I have. This is really something else. You know, and they, they are a symbol of the spring and of hope and of rebirth and all those lovely positives. Isn't, isn't that true? You know, which is where we're at really, isn't it? Let's have a look. Add a bit of grey in there. Oh, it's a bit dark. See? bit dark. Just repair that quickly. Pull it out. That's it. See? Too much. Too much there. Just in that area there. Yeah. Don't just overcook it. And you can feel when, when the paper starts to, it's like, all oh, right, I've, I've, you've given me enough water now. You need to let me dry, that paper saying to me. So that's what I'll do. But you can see how the colours now are starting to, to filter in. So let's go to this edge. And now we'll put some depth in, those, in that side as well. Right. Here we go. There are no rules really. I mean, there are tips and tricks, but you know, there are no there are no rules. I don't. There are, there are things that you learn as you go along, aren't there? But there are no rules here. I've just figured things out along the way, and I'm sure that 
there are experts that would say, well, that's not the way to do it. But, you know, different strokes for different folks, eh? So if you've got a better way or another idea, then for goodness sake, don't be... Don't think that, well, Barbara says you've got to do it like this. No, if you've got a better idea, then... Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. Don't let me just stumble around in the dark here. Mm -hmm. Right. There we go. It's going to look super. But you can understand why this mix mat's so... Why... I, I do get that. Why I need the mix mat. I love it. So easy. I think most of us that are in the shack shack, if I'm not wrong, most of us are are not painters. We're 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 more pencils, aren't we? We're colourers, colourerinners. You know what I mean? I think that's that's the truth of it. So for us to use a pence a, a pen or a paintbrush, see, I think that's why I like these so much because they are the the next best thing to a pencil but it's weird in a minute right we're going to pick up the pencils and when you do it's like an instant comfort it's like oh, back in my comfort zone as soon as I pick up a pencil to use to colour in see this might be a bit dark the yeah. R so what I've got to do because I haven't put my glaze down see so I've got to wet the area before I add the grey otherwise it will just get it will get too dark let's see so I'll go into those V's Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but the butterfly's got two sides. See, so you go into those V's with the wet. That's it, a little bit in there as well. Let's do a bit of grey in there. Then we'll go in with the grey. I think I might add a bit of water to that. Right. Then I'll add a bit of grey, a bit more. And then when you put the grey in, yeah, it moves. That's it. And if it's not moving as you'd like it to, grab a bit of clean water and then work up into it. There you go, and then it disappears. Isn't that nice? Depth. Pretty? Pretty. Right, one more little flash of grey and then I think we're going to let this one rest because he's going to, in a minute, he's, the paper's just going to start disintegrating. <laughs> there you go. Just add a little bit of grey. Just where I want a bit of depth. I'll tell you who I think will love this. Pat Hoskins. I bet if she's... If she's watching, this is going to be her kind of art. She's going. To, I, I know, and Jane Telford. You know, there are so many of you that I know now, and I and I know how your your what your creative process is. You know, because you watch, don't you? And I think, yeah, I think that's one of the best things to come out of the shack is these relationships. You know, that's it. You get to know people. I can I can almost tell their art. I can know when Sonia Goodliffe has published something or or Debbie Lee or 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 Roz or you know, you just know. I don't have to look at the name. I know whose whose art it is before I've even checked check the name. Isn't that cool though? That your art is getting that good and that individual I mean, that's why I know it, because you've got your own your own styles. Isn't that super though? Even though we're all doing the same thing, per, well, I say the same thing, we're all doing, we're all doing butterflies, for example. But then when I see yours, I know, oh, I know who that is. Ah, cool. You know, I know who that is. There, let's put a bit of grey down that little body, shall we? On, let's do a shadow on that side. Get a bit of grey. A bit darker. Mm hmm. That's it. So we can let that just, we've got to let that dry before we go in with a dry pencil on that. Otherwise, we're just going to rub it up. Let's do that. Right, can we let that sit now? 
you happy with to let that sit? Do you like that? I do. It's lovely. Stop fiddling. This is where <laughs> this is where the teacher says, put your bloody pencil down. Yeah, okay. I'm on it. Look, see, and then I go wrong. Oh, Barbara. <laughs> right, that's it. Stop fiddling. Paper's going wrong. <sighs> right. Oh, stretch the neck. Stretch the neck. That's the thing, you keep looking down. Stretch the neck, stretch to the right, stretch to the left. Crack, 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 crack. Oh, hey. All good. All good. So let's leave that one there for a minute. Let's have a, ch let's check, let's check now between where we were. See, it's coming now. See, isn't it interesting? Because that was really baby blue before and a little bit of that black over the top, just a light, light, light f flash of black makes all the difference, doesn't it? But we've got to let that dry now. So we'll let that dry. And in the meantime, let's go. I'll tell you what I was going to show you. This was interesting. Where, hang on a minute, come, don't have to look at a black screen. Look, I've got, I've washed my, I've washed my sponges ready for this afternoon. <laughs> I did. I washed my sponges. Here it is. Because when we do the masks, do you know what I'm talking about, don't you? The masks, 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 the reflection masks. So I've washed my sponges. This is what we're going to do this afternoon. Masks. Look, I've got, I'm all prepared. I've put them in folders. That's how to protect them. You need folders, mask folders. And it just keeps, it's, it's easy because what it does, look, I'll show you. See, you, you keep, that's what we're going for, isn't it? This one. But because I've got them in, in folders, you see, it, it's really, one, it's good to find them. And two, it keeps them safe, all the bits, right? So you can't see this, but these are the masks anyway. So that's what we're going to do. And, um, and we'll concentrate on the reflection ones. That's what I want to do today. Not these ones so much. We'll, we'll do them next week. Um, let me just put this to one side. And let's look at her. Because she she's where we started with the postcards. Remember? The Christmas. We got, we've got flower ones. We've got Christmas ones. And we've got whimsy ones. And the ones we're using here are the... <laughs> looks like a blank card. They are there. There she is. They're just lovely, right? So, so this is also stencil card, just so that you know, card stock wise, when we print these, we print them on to the same, the card, st stencil card. So that means that's why it can take the water. That's why we can use watercolor on these. We can, we can put grunge paste and texture paste and, you know, they're very robust postcards. There you are. And what I wanted to show you was this, you see, because this is what we're going to do in a minute to make this butterfly really come to life. It needs dry over the top. That's why I'm thinking I'm going to air dry that in a minute just to, so that I've got a dry one. So this is bone dry. We did this with the watercolour, didn't we? And you know that was done exactly the same way with the mat and a little bit of colour and then we washed in and then we even got the little hearts on the dress with the tip of the, that was more luck than judgement, but let's have a look. Right? Very cute. Very cute. Now, this is, let's have a look at that one and let's look at the, let's look at the next, the one next to it. Now, let's have a look. Can you see how this one is really, it looks flat, doesn't it? It's, it? Well, it is. There's no shadow. There's nothing on it. This one, all I've done is gone in on this one with a little bit of colour, i.e. dry colour. So what I've done is I've gone in, if you wonder why, um, Pergamano has he got watercolour and and wax oil based pencils on in the same tin these you can use them all dry but these ones are great over the top of the watercolour the blending pencils clues in the name are brilliant over the top of the watercolour they're lovely on their own you know we've, we've been using them on their own 
but when you use them over the top of watercolour they sit beautifully. So for example all I've done here there's one that I that I'm always bleating on about this though um, I the where's those ones here right, here's my polychromos you know the the polychromos and I'm always saying the greys the greys the greys grey scale warm grey cold grey three ivory all these colors sky blue it was all those neutrally ones these sort of colors gold silver copper we put them in a set didn't we of, of, of I think it was like 12 pencils because a lot of people have got the pergoline as you remember and we said yeah but you need grey and and we've rung up the factory and they said no can do computer says no so why reinvent the wheel the the polychromos are superb and they kind of supplement that set of 12 supplements the um the b pencils in your in your tin so what i wanted to explain was let me take a bit of just a, a bit of same paper so again stencil card three and a half by three and a half and what i've what i'm doing now is just getting my my pencil i've got the warm my favorite warm gray what's this one cold gray hmm? i can see why one's called warm and one's called cold right okay so let me just explain and then i'm going to take my b pencils and i'll just take a light blue because that's what we used a light green let's have a look, let's have a look. i've got them all over the place here there's a green yeah and a yellow because they were the sort of colors in the background you see so with the use of those pencils i can i can change up see from flat i don't know if you can see this or whether it, i'm catching it on the right light but let's have a look if you, you check i haven't even really got my teeth into it because i wanted to keep it i wanted to keep it a little bit still delicate but you can see how that that is really flat and then that's got a little bit more shadow to it see just look at the shadows what I've, I've just flicked so that's what i wanted to show you that you can you can do that too just let's take that that gray I'll tell you what i am going to do rather than keep sharpening it let's use this thing sanding block that's looking a bit gross so we'll lose that right so I want to get a chisel going, see? That's perfect. I think that'll be absolutely, yeah, that'll be lovely for a, let me get that chisel. That's it. Right, so what you do is to get the shadow, let's get the shadow, you get the shadow and you chisel in, let's just get the corner in like that. When you've got the chisel in, in the right place, then you just drag through underneath. So you're dragging through and you cut in, see, and it just changes it. See if I can. And then if you want, you just break away a little bit. So you chisel in. I'm using the warm grey. Dig in if you like. See, so you dig in along the actual line art like that. And then you just do little gentle circular motions away from the art and it gives it that lovely edge let me see if I can come in a bit tighter so I'm working over the top see what I mean see how it changes it look at that wing versus that wing so here for example along here now I'm just I'm just doing this because we could do the same on our butterfly right so along here like that and then I'm just gonna just break that edge lightly there in and on there see that looks cool but then when when you get to this bit rather than come round let's just make um let's just come that way there you go so the sh it looks like a shadow see then you really get one run at that one though that's it let's look at our feet again chisel in right and when you got when you're happy with where the chisel is up you go so you dig in and then break that edge a bit see along the back of the foot, underneath the foot. You're obviously, you're deciding, I've decided that the light's coming from the top, so that's why the shadows are underneath. That's pretty self-explanatory, really, Gray. Right, there you go. 
So in you go like that, just chisel in and then break that edge. See how much better that looks? It just, it gives the whole thing a little bit more depth. See, and then you can come in there and then you can, you decide where you want to put your, where you want to put the, the, the shadows, see? So maybe this one, this is going to get a bit of a shadow like that on that side. That's the shadow of the thing. But then I'm going to come round on this side with the actual chisel. Come in like that. Oh, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Ugh. Right, where's my rubber? Right, pink rubber on this job. So I think I've overcooked that a little bit. I could get away with it, but I just want to loosen that up a bit. There we are, see? And then I'll go back in and soften up that line, that shadow line. There you go. And that stander is good for this because it gives you a real good chisel. That's better. You can feel it now. Nice, softer. See? See how you get the shadow? It's good, isn't it? Now I've got a fatter chisel now, so I can actually come in and do a bit more. See, because it's so soft, it doesn't really make her look unattractive. And all the while we're doing this, should we brighten up her socks? Look, see how much brighter this is? That's just because I've gone in with the green over the top of the watercolour, B7, right? But not coloured the whole thing, otherwise why would you bother? But let's pretend that the shadow, let's just get the shadow, join it up, just do a little line on the inside of the pencil with the green look, see? So that rather than grey, because that would lose the... It's cool, isn't it? See how it brightens it up? Instant. Instant brightness. There you go. And then on here, for example, you can add a little flash of yellow or green. There. Just get the shadow on the inside with the colours. That's what I think looks good. I mean, what do I know? I was just faffing about earlier on, waiting for the thing to dry. See, now here, I can use the blue to get a fold, like a, the, the illusion of a fold. There you go. What one's this? B16, if you're interested. There. See? That's it. Look, doesn't it look like a fold? There you go. And then I can do another little fold there as well, look. Light feathery strokes. Because this is exactly what we're going to do in a minute on the butterfly. I love doing this. That look nice. Hmm. Right, yellow. That'll brighten it up. That'll zest it up for springtime. So we're just going to go in over the, the watercolour on half the star. And then we can add a bit of yellow into that. I didn't even do those flowers. Just do a bit of yellow. There you go. Zoom. Brighten up the things. Bit of yellow on the... Uh, have a look. If you don't... And another thing. Let me see if this works. I wonder if I... If I wanted that w wing to be white. If I took the white pencil rather than the... Let me just see. Let me do it before you wreck yours. See, if I wanted that to be white, I wonder if the white rubber, not that it's got white in it, it's just like really hardcore sandpaper, whether that would lift the colour out altogether. And the answer to my question is, yes, it does. Oh, cool. Look, see? Nice. It does. And it doesn't seem to take out the line art at the same time, which is good to know. Okay, nice. Okay, so that was just something that I wanted to show you how you can how you can add depth just with drop shadows. Okay, it's cool. And in the meantime, is our is our butterfly dry? Because now what we want to do, I think so. It's gonna, we've got to stop sometime. It's got to be, got to be there eventually, eh? So I've got now, I've got a B pencil. I've got an A pencil and a B pencil. Um, I'm going with a B pencil. 
give it a reason for being in the box. Right, and I'm gonna make it, see I can sharpen it, let's see if I can, I can sharpen it, or I can put, make a point, see? If I sharpen it, I just keep reducing the size of it, but what I actually want is a really tight point, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, really tight point, see? That's what I'm after. And I don't really want to use a pen, as in a micron pen, because I don't think that the micron pen is the answer for this particular, I don't know, it, it's too gentle, isn't it? Gossamer wings, you know? Just keep think, thinking gossamer wings. That'll do. Right, so really, 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 really fine. Right, so what we want to do now See if we can get up close. Just we've still got a couple of minutes, haven't we? I mean, we're not going to we're not going to get switched off. You see, look at that wing there. Look at that one. Can you see the tiny, tiny, tiny veins and the depth? Right. So what we're going to do? Let's have a look. Is we're going to come in and we're going to add now. Start on the inside, start on the inside, and let's add a little tiny, I'm going to go in with dry, see? This is dry already, not quite, but it will do for the job. It will do, it would be better if it were dry. But because I'm using a B pencil, I don't think it's as crucial as if it was water soluble pencil. If it was water soluble and I was working on wet, on wet um, card, I think it would probably start to dissolve, wouldn't it? So what we're going to do now, I'm almost, it's like levitating. You know when we we always say when we're doodling, we air draw, <laughs> like we hardly touch the page. This is what I'm doing here. I'm really, really light. And I'm holding the pen, pen really upright, so I'm getting a real fine tip, see? There you go, up and then you come down that vein. Let's just get a bit of shadow in first. Just redefining those lines, but so, so faintly that you get a really lovely... See, and there are those out, out there that would say, well, this is takes way too long to do a butterfly. I'm never going to spend this kind of time doing a butterfly. But the thing is, you see, the point for me is that I'm not really even fussed about the butterfly. What I, I mean, it'd be nice when it's done. But I mean, it'll just go, for me, it's the process. It's, it's the, it's making it look as beautiful as I can. And then when I've reached that sort of nirvana, then it's like mission accomplished. I've had a fantastic couple of hours or three hours or four hours or however long it takes. I bet if I spoke to Linda Williams and I said to her, you know, cause she spends days working on a, on a single flower or a butterfly or in parchment and that. And I bet she would say, once it's finished, it's like, yeah, it's nice that it's done, but that wasn't, it was the process. That's what turns her on. It's the doing of it, not the finished one. And that's the same for me, I think. It's the doing, not the finished job. This kind of looks so beautiful when it's done. See, so now we can get some shadow around those those eyes that we made. You know when we made the eyes? See, low lights. They'll bring out the eyes now, won't they? Look. Let's go around there. And the thing is, I could go back over this with water stain afterwards, watercolour, if I choose to. Of course I can. And I probably will. So it's going to look fabulous. See, let's do that side as well. And then, when we've done that, and we've gone in here, then what we're going to do is get a really fine point, and then we'll finish on this point. Oh, and don't forget, there's a, the, the groovy download. Um, the digital download, the, the free download is... Um, going to be sent out to you if you've got if you receive our newsletter 
that will be coming out to you shortly today, Friday. Nearly a year we've been doing those. Right, there we are, thanks to Hazel. So what we're gonna do now is meander really, really gently. Right, so once you've done your shading, let's just meander really gently. Like, it's almost invisible. They're tiny little veins. And you just walk around on the leaf or on the, on the leaf, on the butterfly. See? Really, really lightly. I did this and then I rubbed it out afterwards and that's how I got my result. But you want it to be dry as a bone when you do this. See? And then those, those veins, they look so realistic when it's done, just meandering around. And then we can add a little bit of depth down here. Because that was the other thing that looks really beautiful. You get like speckled butterflies. And um, you should try that too. And the speckled butterflies, it's this. It's just, it's, it's our old favourite. Just but really gently. And I think there is a, there is a skill to doing things really gently. But I also feel that it's like gentle touch, gentle mind. I feel if you, if you work very delicately and gently, like I'm hardly touching the paper to get this lovely speckled effect. And I can also get a bit of a speckle going on the inside here. Just tiny little dots with the tip of the black pencil. But it will look lovely when it's done. Yeah, really nice. Let me show you. Come up close and then see if you can see what I see. You see? Nice, eh? So there you go. Plenty of homework if you fancy it. There's lots to do. You can finish your, and the pink is exactly the same. You're just gonna apply the grays to it now, the gray scale, and then you get your pencils out and you add a little bit of delicate detail. Let's call it delicate detail, DD. You see? And that's about it. I don't think, I think we've, we've, we've done our butterflies now, that'll do. And on Monday at 10 o'clock, the Shack Shack bus is leaving the depot. You need, uh, definitely need something warm for the evenings and you need your passport and something really decadent and you want to bring your best evening dress with you because we are going to the ball, okay? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And, um, and this afternoon, don't forget, at three o'clock, it's a moment of clarity, so in a minute we're going to rip this out and we're going to go to the show. And that's when we go to the NEC. Do you know, I think that is where we would be this weekend. This would be NEC weekend. We've done the SECC and, and the, the moment of clarity is where I demo and I show and we craft along. And you need, just so you know, we're going to be using those masks that I showed you. We're going to be using um, brushes. Makeup sponges, <laughs> makeup. You know, let me tell you, we, we've got some coming. There's a little bit of a hold up um, on the boat. There's a lot of a hold up. It's a global hold up at the moment with supplies from China and anything moving around the world. And so, so they are coming, but do me a favor and just wash what you've got until the, they arrive. And when you think to yourself, shall I, shall I buy one of her packs of sponges, her spot on sponges, because they are very good. Just remember that she bought 6,000 packs of them. Six thousand not one <laughs> so so if you have a sleepless night about one pack of sponges get in my head with me i've got six thousand lost on the boat all paid for mm -hmm. yeah 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 i know <laughs> there are things that you can control and there are things you can't control and i cannot control the spot on sponges from china so i'm not gonna lose any sleep over them stencil card that's what we're going to use Okay, same stuff that we've been drawing on all week. It's good gear, it's good gear. And other than that, 
um, you need uh, ink pads, you need a couple of archival ink pads. If you've got black archival, black archival, and the artistry inks, you know, the, the little ones, anything. Adirondack coloured ink pads, Adirondack Distress, not oxides, not, not, the, not those ones. These artistry inks would be good, dye based, archivals, anything that's colour, makeup sponges. And we will have a blast. That's at three o'clock this afternoon. Um, be safe. Have a great weekend. Paul, thank you for your help. And I'll see you at three o'clock this afternoon or at, um, at 10 o'clock on Monday morning. Already. Bring a rain hat. Uh, and also, what was I going to tell you? Uh, I can't remember now. It's an age thing. Be safe. Lots of love. Enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye now. Mm -mm 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 -mm.